Hello Internet and welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step process on how I edit audio. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I recently uploaded a video where I was talking about how I capture audio. If you didn't watch that video, <laughs> there's a link in the description. There's even a link in the pop-up cards somewhere up here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I process audio using Mixcraft Pro 9 and Adobe Premiere. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. Let's start off by recording a sample audio clip. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So as you can already tell, I already recorded my audio clip using Mixcraft Pro 9 and now we're going to dive into the software and we see how I process the audio in Mixcraft Pro. So let's get further. Right now we are in Mixcraft Pro and I'm going to show you exactly what I do in Mixcraft to process audio. So the very first thing I want to play back for you guys to listen to the audio without any effects applied. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Okay, so right now the very first thing that I'm going to add is the acoustic 31 band EQ. And I like putting the effect called Vocal Mel 2. So let's listen back with the effect. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Subtle, subtle change. Uh, let's add something further. So I like adding an acoustic compressor. And when I add that, I usually go for vocal push to front, okay? And then once I add that, let's play back and we listen to this. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Still, there's a very subtle change in the audio quality. You hear that most of the bass is being taken out and most of the mids and highs are becoming dominant. So further, I'm going to add my favorite, which is the classic EQ, okay? I usually don't like getting crazy with all these effects. I usually just put one or two or three effects and I'm good because I know that in Premiere, I usually add three effects in Premiere on my audio. So here in Mixcraft, my favorite is the classic equalizer or what they call it, the classic EQ. And then when, when you're here, I like going for punch. Okay, so let's listen to this with that classic EQ applied. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. That's what it sounds like. Okay. So right now I'm going to go back to my EQ and I'm going to pull up the lows because I like bass. So I'm going to pull up the lows slightly. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So as you can already tell, you can hear that the bass is going up a little bit. So at this stage, what I usually do is to export this file, right? You come to mix down to wave. So the waveform is very solid in a way that it doesn't easily get distorted once you further refine a clip. It kind of keeps most of the details of the audio clip. Right, so I usually just mix down and I'll call this audio tutorial 2 and I'll save it here on the desktop. You can call it a day at this point, but let's dive into Premiere and I show you how further you can refine the audio clip that you've just listened to. Let's dive into Premiere, guys. I have both the files that are from the camera and I also have the files that I recorded using my PC. That is the audio files. So when we play this back, I want you guys to listen to this carefully. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. Welcome, Internet. To Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record. <laughs> right? Most of the stuff is out of sync, right? Now, Adobe Premiere has this very powerful algorithm that helps identify the audio waveforms and then syncs them together. So what you want to do at this point, just select 
both the audio clip from the camera or from the video and the audio clip from the microphone. And then simply right click and then there is synchronize. Just hit synchronize uh, audio and then you can do a mix down, but I like using track two as my reference. Okay. And click okay. Right. So Adobe Premiere has done its thing. So at this point, when we play back, this is what we have. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. As you can already hear, you can tell that most of the audio and video files are in sync. So what we're going to do right now is just to cut off what we don't need. We trim off those parts on the video that we don't need. So right now I'll place my playhead here and then I'm going to hit W. So W will trim off my clip to the left. And then let's hit home. And then let's move the playhead to right there. Let's hit C on the keyboard. And let's cut off that part of the video that we don't want to. What I'm gonna do is to delete the audio file from the camera, which is this clip up here. So I'll right click and unlink. So once I have that unlinked, I can select that audio file and delete it. And then what you want to do is to move the audio clip that we already recorded using the computer or, you, or using the microphone. And we're going to move it into that track one, just like that. And then let's play back. Hello Internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. At this point, you can tell that there is a massive difference between the audio that we recorded using the microphone and the audio that was recorded using the onboard camera microphone. So right now, at this level, I can just select both my video file and the audio file and then link them. Now, this step is very important because if you don't link them and you begin chopping your clips, you're going to run into problems because you're going to find that some of your clips are not in sync with the video clips. OK, so at this point, we can now dive into the further audio editing process of Premiere. So what I like doing is is this little that these two little arrows down here, click there and then we pull up what they call the audio track mixer. So we pull up the audio track mixer so that we're able to edit our audio. The other thing that you would do is simply come here under the workspaces here. There's color effects audio. You can click on the audio workspace and then you can begin editing your audio from here as well. That automatically pulls up the audio track mixer. But for me, I like having everything, you know, in place. I like seeing my effects and everything. So what I like doing is simply pulling up the audio track mixer from this arrow here. So once you have the audio track mix at this point, you can see that A1, which is the audio track one, this one here is going to be your audio. Then there is a little, is a little drop down, click on that arrow and that allows you to add effects to this particular clip. So my favorite effects are, I come to filter and EQ. I like using the graphic equalizer that has the 30 band. So double click on that and then it will pull it up is a drop down there. Don't leave it on default. Otherwise, there would be no change in your audio. So I like clicking there on the drop down and then just scrolling down. You can use lead vocal presence and clarity. That is one of the things I love. And then, of course, you'll see that there is a little shift in these sliders here. So let's listen to this audio with the graphic equalizer. Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So that is that. And then the other thing that I like adding here is the parametric equalizer. So I click there and add my parametric equalizer and then double click to pull it up. Don't leave it on default and then come to vocal enhancer. Click on vocal enhancer. As you can see already, there are some changes on this graph. All right. So let's play this audio without the vocal enhancer. Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record. That is without. Now let's turn it on the audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So as you can already tell, there is some bass going on and I like adding some highs, the high frequencies. So I like moving this a little up there. 
you can actually edit this graph to your own taste. You can experiment so that you're able to find the right tuning for your voice. So right now at this point, we can try to deal with the noise as well. So we're going to add some dynamic processing. So you come under effects here, come to amplitude and compression, and then you add dynamic processing. This is more of a compressor that helps clean out the noise or unwanted sound that is not relevant to the audio. Let's hear with and without the dynamic processor. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how now this is at default. Just double click there to pull it up. As you can see, this graph line is straight. It's diagonal. So what we want to do is to come to the drop down here and then let's tweak some things, okay? Let's add some fun to this thing. So I like adding the vocal limiter. Click on the vocal limiter and then let's play back. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Now I'll switch this back to audio workspace like that because I want to look at the meters here. As you can see, it runs all the way from, I think, 60 to zero, like minus 60 to zero up here. So zero is like the max that is like very loud, extremely loud. So let's play back once again. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this graph until we get the most clean sound that we desire. So we're going to add a few points to this graph. I like adding uh, usually three points. One, two, three. Of course, there are those two that were already there by default. That is from the vocal limiter itself. So now let's just use the S curve and we can actually use the spline. Come here, make sure spline is checked. So let's bring this down a little bit, uh, bring this down a little bit. So what we're trying to achieve here is to cut down on the noise. So I like bringing this down to about minus 12 decibels about there. So when you play back, this is what we have. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So as you can tell from the meters here, there's a meter reading going on here. Now the compressor is pushing down every loud decibel. Every loud piece of sound is being brought down. That is how a compressor works. Compressor brings down all the sounds that are unwanted. It cuts them off, depending on how you set it up. If you want to make sure that the noise is quiet, you can always play around the graph here at the bottom. You can either bring this further down this cuts off most of the unwanted decibels or most of the unwanted sound. For example, silence in this audio clip is about minus 54, okay? So if I brought this point just to about there, and then I played back, this is what we have. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. As you can hear, you can hear the compressor kicking in a little bit. The sound is kind of not clear enough, like there's no more clarity in the voice. So what you need to do is to push this back just a little bit, just like that. Let's play back. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. So as you can already tell at this point, I am happy with my audio. So what I wanna do right now is to just bring up my audio levels, making sure that it doesn't go beyond minus six. It should be between minus six and minus 12. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Let's take it back. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Now, as you can hear, it's not so clean. Uh, you can really tell that when we play back the audio, there is some little hissy sound that is coming in from the compressor, simply because there is a way compressors work and they kind of add that hissiness to the sound. But when we add audio to that, you won't be able to hear that hissiness unless there is no audio and it's just silence. You'll be able to hear that, but not too much of it. So right now, let's add a music clip and we play back and we see. 
Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you. As you can already tell, the music is competing with my voice. So what I need to do right now is to come under here, my audio track mixer. And what I'm gonna do right now, you see that my music track is on track number two. This is the volume level for track number two. So what I'm gonna do is to bring down the volume level of track number two. Let's bring this down to about minus 11 and let's play back. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record. Let's bring it further down. Minus 18. Hello internet, welcome to the Kennedy's channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record audio and how I process it in Adobe Premiere and in Mixcraft Pro 9. Sounds good. Sorry. This may not be the smoothest video <laughs> that I've done because it's a little bit complicated, but I think you get the idea. So at this point, your audio mix is good to go. Yeah, that's how I record my audio. If you've watched the video up to this point, thank you for watching. If you guys have a different process on how you record your audio, I actually believe that you guys have a different process on how you record and process your audio. Just let me know what your process looks like in the comment section. I appreciate every time you watch. If you haven't yet subscribed, just hit that subscription button and make sure that you turn on all the post notification bells so that you don't get to miss any new video that I upload. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.